Today, Americans rely on electricity more than ever to power their lives. Without a reliable electric grid, we'd all be left in the dark. And once our cell phones ran out of battery life, most of us would be cut off from family and friends. The electric grid is a complex system of power plants, transmission lines, substations, and distribution lines that transmit electric power from the place where it's generated all the way to consumer members at the end of the line. Here's a breakdown of the path electricity takes to get to your home. Electricity is generated at a power plant or other facility, such as a hydroelectric dam. In fact, most of the country's electricity comes from power plants that can generate steady, reliable electric power around the clock. The electricity is then sent over vast distances by way of high voltage transmission lines. The electricity arrives at your co-op substation where transformers lower the voltage then send it on to your home using distribution power lines. But not all power is generated at large power plants and hydroelectric dams. Some power comes from consumer members themselves who are generating power using solar panels, small wind turbines, manure digesters, or generators. But does this mean these households are ready to go off the grid? In truth, while these technologies are environmentally friendly and harness natural resources, they typically do not provide enough power to meet all the energy needs of an individual household. Think about it. Some days the sun doesn't shine. Some days the wind doesn't blow. By remaining connected to the electric grid and the steady supply of reliable power, consumers have access to the electricity they need whenever they need it. This is why staying connected to the electric grid is vital. If you're considering member-owned generation for your home, talk to your electric cooperative first. We can help you make smart energy investments to meet all of your energy needs.